you yeah. came back some of this, right? <laughs> oh wow. That's the reason. The connection with the Joji and the space. Yeah, right? Yeah. Yeah, because it's like Clint Night Palette. Cools the heat down. Yeah. Amazing. Good morning everyone, this is David Hoffman from David's Been Here in beautiful Alapura, Kerala, India. I am so excited, it's six in the morning and we're gonna go on a canoe ride through the backwaters of this beautiful waterway. This place is so beautiful, look at this. You can hear the birds chirping, really relaxing here. And then after the canoe ride, we're gonna get back on the boat and head back to the port to get our car. On the way, we're gonna have breakfast, Southern Indian breakfast, has to include some delicious dosa with some chutney and some sambar. And then from there, we're gonna go straight to a dolly shop to try some coconut wine and maybe some food. Let's go, I'm excited. Here's a canoe. What we have to do is to get on and sit directly on that mat. So. This, facing this way, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Good morning, my friend. Good morning. Ah. Safe on it. So we've been on the boat for about five minutes. We have a 30 minute ride. We're going into canal. And as you can hear behind me, we have caught a prayer. So we have a mosque right behind us. The sun is rising. We also have, you know, I think this is a resort from what it looks like. It's like a resort, right? Lots of palm trees, lots of birds. Very peaceful out here. I mean, this is a great thing to do when you come. Uh, just come out, you know, for about 30 minutes. You take it all in, enjoy, you know, your time with your captain here. It's a little scary. This thing can like rock. <laughs> you can't even get up, man. It's, it's crazy. But I love the beautiful colors. Look at this: pink, orange, yellow. David. Hey, what's up, man? <laughs> David in the Kerala videos of the Torangan on the April, Ele. Yeah. Yeah. April, David Kerala videos uploaded the Torangan Karnam. Thirivan the Bermuda, they have got a video chase, Torangan Anipa, Alapreda, and even the Tekri Pum, Tekri in the Koricota, Kanure, Kochi, Ella, Salang, Trishu, and Lampo. David, you can see there are so many small canals here because. In Alapid, there are uh, small, small canals. In every house, they will have one canal at least because there are waterways here, not too much of roadways. Nowadays, there are roadways, but otherwise, waterways. So they they use those canals to go near around places, shopping for your haircut you went in Toronto. <laughs> <laughs> like roadways are new here. Yeah, it's really super recent, right? Roadways are new. Waterways are the ancient ones. This is a house. This is a uh, old style, traditional style, uh, rich person's house, most probably. May have plenty of rooms. I do not know anywhere, uh, but it looks good. Yeah, I mean, it's the biggest house we've seen here. It looks the prettiest. Two stories, lots of rooms, and he has a little gate to access to the water. Like, it's like he has a fence. <laughs> you can't come into my house. This one too, wow. That's a modern style house. The other one is tradition. So we've been out here for about 20 minutes. We went through one waterway, came out to this huge waterway where you can see lots of houses, humongous houses, houseboats, there's modern houseboats, traditional houseboats, and then after that is a church, and then we made a left under this bridge, and here you can see it's very misty, beautiful setting here, lots of houses as well. I see birds like diving in for fish over here. This is a regular house, right? Just regular? Small. Small house. And right here behind me, we have a floating bridge. It basically connects both of these islands. So what they'll do is they'll put the bridge on there so the cars can cross at a certain time and then it'll be closed from that time. So like, let's say 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Yesterday, we passed through here right when it opened, like at 5.30. And it's right here, as you can see, the floating bridge. This guy, he cast net yesterday night and he's, let's see, you can see, he got a pearl spot already. I don't get him in the name. Ah. Ah. He got a pearl spot. This is a pearl spot, see? So we ate that yesterday, right? Yeah, the same thing that we ate yesterday. The pearl spot, see, another one. <laughs> it's pretty cool, so basically he did is he left it overnight, left all his nets, yeah. came in the morning, really early. It's almost 7 a.m. right now, Yeah. and that's what he got. 
So we got like six or seven of them. Wow, dude, the mist. Look at that. David, we are in backwaters and this is a lake. This lake. Uh, what is this lake? Where is it? Where is it? Ah, this lake is known as Meenapalli Kail. Meenapalli Kail. Otherwise, Meenapalli Lake. And there are lakes around nearby. And if you're coming here during the time of Onam, Onam Festival also, you can enjoy. At the same time, you can uh, you can enjoy this boat race. There are Nehru Trophy boat races and there are plenty of boat races here. Chambakulam boat race. Plenty of them, and you'll really enjoy the color, the, that's great. And yes, we're almost done with our boat ride. We're gonna get off, get into the boat, and have some breakfast. My favorite breakfast of all time, Southern Indian dosas. These are called Tata dosas. Very small, some coconut chutney, some sambar. <laughs> oh, my butt, oh man. Sitting there for like 45 minutes. Oh. All right guys, let's go eat some breakfast. The backwaters have come alive. Everybody's coming out, tutus everywhere. All the houseboats are starting to leave. And what we're doing now is we're setting sail all the way back to the port area to get our car. Along the way, we'll see more waterways. We're gonna eat some breakfast. And that's what you do here. I mean, it's very relaxing. You could stay one night, two night, a week, whatever you want. Again, this is 30,000 rupees for a three bedroom like this. Fits six people, breakfast, lunch, dinner included. Amazing, really amazing experience. All right, Captain, let's go. David, these are Kerala doshas. In Kerala, the traditional doshas are smaller in size, but if you normally think about, if you have head of dosha, it's with a huge diameter, am I right? But this is smaller in size. And these smaller ones or bigger ones, you eat with chutney. Shall I pour it here? Yes, please. This is coconut chutney. In some places, if you are going to Tamil Nadu, you'll get groundnut, peanut chutney. Sambar, pour over. Mm -hmm. yes. Wow. So we can add a piece of omelet as well. Let's dig in? Yeah. So we can break doshas. Perfect, <laughs> you are Malayali now. <laughs> Coconut chutney, man. Coconut chutney, and you can sense the ginger, mm -hmm. the taste of ginger. Yeah, it's a, it's really strong, no? Yeah. Ginger. Yeah. Ginger. It feels like you have chunks of coconut. And then what do you do you, with the omelet? You can you, you can Same cut thing. a piece and you can just eat. Mmm. Mmm. This omelet, the onions. Chilies. Mm. Oh, it's so good. And I've never thought to mix dosa with egg. Mm. I've never done that. In some places, they also add omelets on the top of egg. Uh, sorry, on the top of uh, dosa. Dosa. Even bullseye. We'll try some other place. Mm. And for this one, the sambar, look at this. So you have huge carrot right here. Mmm. That's good. Lots of veggies in that one. Yeah, that's that's something that I've noticed. Sambar changes in different places. Yeah. Um, if you go to Andhra Pradesh, mm -hmm. you get slightly thicker sambar. Andhra Pradesh? Yeah. And it's spicier because Andhra, everything's spicy. Yeah, it's spicier. And as I said, even the chutneys differ from places to places. If you travel to Andhra Pradesh, from Nadu, they add peanuts instead of coconut. Okay. I haven't had that before. Never. No. The Where? Peanut, peanut chutney? You never tried? Not yet. Mm. Mm. And this dosa has a lot of holes, right? So it's very airy, mm -hmm. very soft, breaks apart very easily. So the one I had yesterday mm -hmm. was more almost like an American pancake. This one is more like, it's spongy. Yeah. You know? it's, it's Bigger one, bigger doshas, it is more crisp. Yeah, more crisp. Yeah, because it's like a, it's a mix, right? It can be yeah. crispy with dough in the middle, or yeah. all crisp, like yeah. uh, the roast. What is it, the roast? The roast, uh, the ghee roast? Yeah, yeah. Ghee roast. Ghee roast. Mm. That one's good, I like that one. It's like yeah. ghee roast, oh <laughs> my god. And in this dosha also, we add lentils plus rice. Plus rice. Yeah, and fermented 
for a few hours for them, maybe six hours to eight hours. Wow. A similar food is there in Ethiopia. In Ethiopia? Yeah. Wow. It is known as injera. We can't say that it is exactly the same, but that is fermented for several days, maybe three days, four days, five days. So they and copied the Indians. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. Breakfast was phenomenal. I think we have about 15 minutes to go before we get to port. I'm just gonna enjoy my chaya right here on the deck with the captain. This is the life. Hanging out here on the front deck, drinking my chaya. Super early morning. My man, the captain. Chaya, chaya. <laughs> wow, look at all the houseboats. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Everybody's going back, right? That's it? Yeah. It's over? Thank you so much, Captain. What a great adventure. Walking back to the car now on this dirt path, as you can see all the houseboats passing by. This is like the port area. This is where you drop your car off and you walk to your boat, you board, you go out for the day, two days, a week, whatever you want. Really amazing experience, very serene here. I mean, I am in awe of this place. Very tropical, obviously it gets really hot, but because you're on the boat, you have the wind coming in. It is epic, epic. I loved it. I could have done one more day. Um, unfortunately, it's not like so much to do in terms of activities because you can't go swimming and you know, certain things you can't do here. But overall, great experience, delicious food. Evan, you're the man, dude. Thank you. My man, where are we going next? You're going to a toddy shop. Toddy shop? Nearby in Alapita. Alapura, Alapi. Actually, Alapura is the real name, but Alapi is what popular is. Where are you from in the US? From Miami. Miami. So we'll sit inside a Miami tent or a cottage and we'll go to New York and we'll enjoy toddy, coconut toddy. In Alapura, there is a New York toddy shop and we set the GPS for that. We are going to New York toddy shop. In New York toddy shop, there are, there is Miami, there is Chicago. We'll go to Miami. So as we're making our way to the toddy shop, we're passing by tons of rice fields, like hundreds and hundreds of acres out here. There's also farmland and there's small communities. We're passing through one community, it's full of houses, there's a temple, there's some vendors selling, you know, vegetables, bananas, etc. Over here, there's another rice field. Oh, wow, look at that. And so, yeah, we're about, what did it say, two minutes from the toilet shop. It's right here. It's really hidden. It's like super behind the scenes, yeah. deep in like the wilderness out here. <laughs> yeah, you can see that name board, which is written in Malayalam. That is written American Junction. That is. <laughs> <laughs> so, we are in American Junction. We are going to New York. This is really funny. <laughs> Here we go, New York City toilet shop. It's really funny though, I thought it was just a shop. It's a shop, but you can dine in any of these. Over here we have New York City, here we have Florida, we have Miami, we have Las Vegas. Yo, if we can, let's do Miami. Party in the city where the heat is on. Right next to the toilet shop, you have this ginormous rice field. And over there you see the guys, they're fertilizing the grounds, they're throwing water, right? Spraying water everywhere. And over here, we don't just have New York City, we also have California, we have DC, and each one has a number, right? So number one, two, three, four. We're gonna do number four, oh, here, number eight, and number seven, Georgia and Chicago. Number nine, Las Vegas, number 10, San Francisco. This is really cool. Let's see what this place looks like. What is this? Oh, there we go. So basically, it's a small room, open air, where you can wash your hands and you have an incredible view over the rice paddy fields. This is very unique. This is awesome. What you do here is you drink coconut wine and you eat some spicy crabs. They went with some crabs. They also have like some other stuff like shrimp and fish. His name is Kamalasan and he's one of the toddy tapas. And one more piece. This is a special knife used for tapping uh, coconut flour. Wow. And we get toddy, the nectar. So basically they tap the coconut flour and they pull out the nectar yeah. and that becomes fermented and then you drink it. For an hour, it gets fermented. It starts fermenting within minutes, within uh, hours it will be fermented and it will become very soft. Otherwise it is sweet. 
you get the vet, the fresh one, it's sweet. We're going to catch fish, the live fish, and they cook for us. What are you doing? Uh, these are uh, freshwater fish. The fish are literally jumping out of the of this little tank. Jumping from the from the oh, oh my god, <laughs> oh my god, jumping from the tank to the pan. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ready? Take the photo. Take the photo. Ready? Before we eat, gotta wash our hands. I mean, this is the best place to wash my hands. Look at this. Look at this view. There's a soap right here. Faucet. Done. And for you, Tati. Cheers. Cheers. Sweeter. Mm, much sweeter. So I guess they just took it out, right? Yeah. Just extracted it. Maybe an hour back. Oh, this is a million times better than the one I tried yesterday. This one's sweet, still sour, but very sweet. It's good. I can drink a jug. So, David, let's start with this is putta. Yesterday you had this is pancake, we call it as appam. And this is fermented with tari. Can I give you a fish fry? Please. Yes. And shellfish. And crab. Let me keep in the middle itself. One. Hand. And you need to have some gravy on the top of Jameer. Yes, David. Are you ready for this? Yeah, I'm ready oh for the battle. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we actually had a lot more dishes, but we said, hey guys, let's take it easy. We can try one, two, three, four, five, six, seven dishes. Seven dishes. Seven dishes, yeah. <laughs> and Jameer, I haven't introduced him. He is from here. He's Malari. Malari. Malari, right. Malari. He's a travel vlogger, makes incredible cinematic videos. And he's gonna join me today for this unbelievable feast. This is so good. What do we start with? Uh, we'll start with the put. So we generally eat with hands. So we'll start from the put. Okay. We'll take some gravy. Perfect. And mix it with the put mm -hmm. a little bit. And. Mm. Wow. So this one is rice flour. Yep. It's coconut as well, right? Yep. Coconut. And then we have the gravy from the crab. Crab. Incredible. Mm. So this gravy is a, it's a light gravy, lots of vegetables, you have curry leaves. And I love the puto, how it falls apart. It's like so it's crumbly. Soft and crumbly. Right? Yeah. Crumbly, airy, nice. And, and it all like blends together with, with uh, the gravy. Like it becomes like very like, like it's kind of like pasty, pasty, you know? And the gravy like, Mm. That pepper, taste of the pepper, mm -hmm. we're giving you more flavor. Wow. And when it comes to the crab, you need to put a little bit of food to bring out those fleshes, break the shell, and mix it with the putta, and the process continues. <laughs> <laughs> I got a little bit of flesh, it was hard. Mm. Oh, wow. And this crab comes from this area, yes. obviously, right? From fresh water? No, from the brackish water, right? It's from the brackish water. water. Let's just crack this guy in half. It's hard when you're doing it with one hand, you know? Very hard. Mm hmm. Very hard. You get some of that flesh. There's also a claw here. It's a little hard to get into that claw, though. Grab this. Always with, the, with this, right? Yes. Like, always mix it up. Mix it up. Right there. There you go. Mmm. Dude, the flavors, the freshness, not spicy. not spicy. This is not spicy. not spicy. I think he calmed it down because I wanted spicy. Mmm. <laughs> Juicy. It looks good. My turn. Bring it here. Can bite. Bite? Yeah. Well. Wow. Mmm. Suck all, all the flesh. Mmm. Oh, that's good, man. So succulent. Ah. Hard this one. Go in here. So for this one, we're using two hands, obviously. Have to. Mmm. For crab, you really gotta work for the flesh. I, you know, I've been eating crabs and lobster like my whole life. Oh. But usually it's a little bigger. Yeah. Oh, yeah, this oh, one's yeah. like small, so it's a lot harder to get in. Oh, and there's a flesh. 
Man, yours had like a real piece of flesh. You know, this is the first time I'm actually trying crab in India. Oh, in India? Yeah. So now what I do here, to get all the flesh, I gotta suck it all out. Mm. All the flesh there. Wow, mussels, some chilies, some onions. This is the best thing ever. Mm. Mm. It's almost like a stir fry of mussels. Wow, dude. I think you must start trying the upper. Mm -hmm. mm. With the gravy. Oh wow. It definitely has a taste of the of that, right? Mm -hmm. So this pancake is called appa and it has the toti, right? So the fermented coconut nectar. So you mix it here with the gravy. It's mixed. It's mixed. Mm. How's it? It's good, but I'm getting a lot of chili from that. Mm. Spicy. It's super soft. It might look like an American pancake, but it's definitely not. The difference is it's not sweet, it's more sour, but it's good. And you're obviously not putting syrup on top, you're putting gravy. Mm. How are the muscles with this? Is that good? Just mix anything with the pancake, right? Yeah. Mm. Mm. You need to take like yeah. one part like that. Okay. And uh, mm. perfect. Perfect, right? No bones. No bones. And also, you can try it a little bit with an onion. Mm. Mm. With the onion, huh? So good. Let's try a little more. Ooh, this is spicy too. I guess everything's spicy, right? Yeah, totally. What do you get in body shop is spicy. Mm. And so you, at least for us, so you clean it back <laughs> some of this, right? <laughs> oh wow! That's the reason the connection with the toji and the spicy. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, because it's like my palate cools the heat down. Yeah, amazing. Man, that is delicious. It's sweet, it's sour, it's a little thick. Good, man. So people will drink more toddy. Oh, I'm sure. Is it's that like, the point? Because they're burning, so they have to drink it. <laughs> mm. Good price, good. Mm. Is it spicy? It's not spicy. I like the bath they're using soft flesh. Mm. Soft and white flesh. Mm -hmm. Be careful with the bones. The whole thing is bones. Next up we have this delicious river fish. So I'm gonna grab a piece. Whoa, it just took his entire tail. <laughs> I'm gonna bring it up. I'm a little nervous about the bones. Just gotta take it apart, right? Slowly go in, take out the flesh. Be really careful. Tons of bones here. They're very small. Barely can see them. But what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna grab some of this apple. River fish, gravy, and they're ready to the mouth. Perfect. Chew. You might get a bone. Yeah. I got bones. Chew it down, chew it down. It's good. Spicy. The apple absorbs the gravy, right? Yep. I, mm. I actually like the flesh of freshwater fish more than salt water fish. Let's Go. try the pomfret. So just try it right here? Yep. From the, from the center. You take it from the center? Yep. Perfect. Get a little onion. Somewhat. Mm. Will be really oh my nice. god, so good. Mm. The flesh is so soft. Whatever they're putting on top is amazing. It's like a creamy gravy. Creamy gravy, exactly. I don't know what is that though. Just like, it's called mapas. Besides the fact that my mouth is burning, I'm loving this experience. Coming to a toy shop is a real local experience. You come in, you sit in one of these little uh, colleges, I guess you guys call it, like little colleges, right? So little hot cottages. From here you have epic views over this beautiful rice paddy field. And here we have the toy. I love it, this is so good. This is what neutralized the pot. Exactly, oh man, we need another jar. 
<laughs> and for me guys, my favorite thing was for sure these mussels. A little spicy, very easy to eat, no bones. And yeah, I mean, today was awesome. We started off on the houseboat at six in the morning, going on a canoe ride around the backwaters. After that, we had delicious breakfast all the way down to the port. After we got off, came straight over here and came to New York City Toilet Shop. That's pretty awesome. In Kerala, I know. So if you're an American, you'll love this. Great experience. It's actually Sunday, that's why it's so loud. Every single one of these is full. Everybody comes here early morning. This is like an early brunch, right? It's like only 10.30 in the morning. Huge feast, delicious, delicious, delicious seafood. You got fish, crabs, you also have shrimp, you have other fish, you have mussels. And also the pancake. Pancake okay, and the putu. I mean the putu. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, I hope you love this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. Subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content and both these adventures right here. And we'll see you in the next travel food adventure somewhere in Kerala. Peace.